day three on this chicken build. And it's day seven since last time I washed these pants. All right, we're almost done with this chicken tractor. I'm planning on finishing it up today. We have to put a bar that goes up top. Then we also need to put the chicken netting over it. Need to attach the door. Now the way that this is attached is zip ties. <laughs> Now to attach this chicken wire, it'd be nice to have a staple gun, but I'm doing it the old fashioned way with a good old fashioned hammer and some staples. little rain delay. Sun's out. Let's get back to it. Another rain delay. We're gonna have to pick this up tomorrow. This rain keeps coming and going. It's time to pack it up and start again tomorrow. Hope we didn't get done with that chicken coop today. It was just raining on me all day yesterday off and on. So hopefully it's supposed to rain again. So hopefully I could get it done.
We're done. We finished this coop chicken tractor. All we need is a tarp. I still need to buy and put on a latch on the front. And we need to put the feeder in there and the waterer. And that's it. Total cost for this for everything plus the the feeder that I'm gonna put the tarp is uh, 160 bucks. So 160. Plus, it took about 18 hours to build this. Not bad. Probably the more tedious thing is uh, hammering all those nails. So it was about 500 nails I hammered in. It would be a lot faster if I had a staple gun. And last year I told myself, next time I do this, I'm gonna buy a staple gun. But I didn't. So I'm gonna say that again. Next time I do this, I'm gonna buy a staple gun. <laughs> now these are not my chicken tractor plans. I got them from Farm Marketing Solutions. You can find a link to those plans down in the show notes. If you guys want to check those out, I highly recommend it. And I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.